Indiana Hoosiers host the Marion Knights out of the NAIA alongside Kevin Vera. I'm Zion Brown, as we'll hear from the third member of our crew, Audrey Marr, later on. But the former Hoosier, of course, the son of Bob Knight, played here for four times full circle. Pat's wife and his mother are here in attendance as well, as you see the rest of the Marion team also sporting those long sleeve red. Some of the different lineups that Mike Woodson could potentially be testing out for the rest. Ready to go as Umar Balo will tip off for Indiana, winning the tip over Gavin Foe and the Hoosiers. Start it off. The state transfer, Miles Rice sets up the offense. Here we see Balo with it. Into Malik Renu, who sheds a defender and scores. And he's off target, and Renu grabs the board. Streaking down the court comes Rice. And Baco in the corner for three. He hits. Back up to Luke Carroll. Aiden Franks loses his defender, steps inside for the 17-footer, and drills it. Great pump this season. We just saw that on the Mbako three. Now they set up the offense. This time it's Renew to Balo, and he flushes it. You're going to be back now with Carroll. Luke Carroll gets a shimmy to Malik Renew. Well off target on the shot. Here comes Rice out of the break. Doesn't get it to go, and Balo gets it. And now we see Umar Balo bring it up the floor for the Hoosiers. Cookie down to Renew. He's unchecked. And matched up with McKenzie and Baco now. Early nine point lead for the Hoosiers. Gavin Foe inside, kicked by Renew. Does have that size advantage, so you gotta find gaps whenever you can. Etchison with some space, and Moles is open and he drains it. Moles to Etchison. Etchison working to get his shot off at 5'11. He dumps it off to Foe, rejected by Renew. And Baco now slows it down, and we'll find his guard, Galloway. The zone is interesting right now, Kevin. Yeah, it's, they're trying to slow in. Thought about a 15-footer. They try to feed it into Foe, and Balo comes away with it. And Baco, one man to beat, and he lays it home. They're able to scan the floor rather quickly when they, whenever they get that ball, and so they've done a good job. Moles misses everything as that ball rolls. And for Pat Knight, he spent the last decade on the West Coast as a scout for the Pacers, being one of their West Coast scouts as Miles Rice gets the layup. For Gus Etchison, kicking it out to Moles. Now Gavin Foe. Foe looking for space in the lane. He dragged that pivot foot. For IU. Here's Balo going to work. Tucker with the J. He drills it for his first Mature player, very mature for his age, and you can see that the way he commands himself on the floor. A strong defensive possession for the Hoosiers, as with the shot clock running down together for a while. Yeah, you can see that the work that they were able to do in the summer workouts really paid off. And it... Rice trying to set up the offense. Nice spin move by Miles Rice, and he has that pass deflected out. By Ed and how much more size they carry this upcoming season. As we look at the sideline I mean, and see. have a big presence like. Etchison takes the midi, left it flat, and here comes Miles Rice. Rice zooming up the floor and finishing with the left hand. That was beautiful. Does Rice smell blood again? This time he flips it to Mbako. No, but here's Renew on the putback. Renew using the game and his eighth points. Etchison with another long two. That one, butter. First points of the game. Tucker looking to respond. He does. The mid-range is his spot. Yeah, I mean, he's just getting his career at Western Michigan. But came home to Indiana to become only able to find a place that really fit with his personality and his play style. He's made back-to-back -back buckets, looking for more. Tucker with the left hand, well off the mark, but here's Renew with another putback. Malik keeping that lineage up. Malik Renew has been very good so far, as he can't get that in a while, but there he is a player that Mike Woodson is very excited about. Bryson Tucker has it now. Feeds it into Langdon Hatton, another one of those transfers. Hatton, would they have him in at the five with no other big men on the court. Etchison, sidestep, Trey, bottom. And they're very, very young, a lot of freshmen, not a lot of juniors and seniors, but it'll be an interesting talking point moving forward for Marion. Etchison with a bit of a heat check, Newton. Shot clock down to five. 
Etchison snakes the screen. Etchison knows he has to get it off. The reverse layup drops. Point to drop. As Nara gets the board up to Etchison. Etchison for the three. He hits. Gus Etchison. Etchison going quickly. Crossing over Cups, looking for another three. Looked like he had some contact, no call. Tucker quickly ahead, into the corner to Cups. Cups for the two, hits it with the foul. Gave very good job what they were able to do this past offseason, and it got the attention of a lot of people. And so they did just that, and looking for better results this season, coming in as the number 17 ranked team in the country. Nice pump fake, and drop. Goody to Langdon Hatton. Hatton, bounce pass into Cups, what a feed. A good backdoor in the corner, thought about a three. Newton thought about taking another, he stonewalled by Moles. Newton now gets inside, gets the contact and the lay-in. The entire season, still was recovering up until just five days ago, Moles. Carroll trying to work on Luke Goody. The Luke's going against each other, Goody wins that matchup as Hatton. Snatches Gavin Foe working against Cups. Now to Moles. Foe pulls up for two and sinks it. Newton doubled in the corner to Goody. Right back to Newton, who's open now. But he can't hit the three, and the Foe comes away with it. Franks will try to change that. He can't. As Hatton missed Tucker initially, still fouled him down the court. And Tucker yams it down. One and now a very good, another good two points for Tucker. I'll tell you what, Kevin, Bryson Tucker is making a solid first impression here for IU fans. A very good impression. And Baco on the drive, finds Tucker for the long two. Rattles in, as Tucker just sat there. And that one was gonna fall through the net and it, and it did in his favor, but he's been very good so far here in this game. Frank's trying to shoot one over Tucker. Flat on, up to Balo. Now McKenzie and Baco feeds it to Balo, who finishes with the left hand. So he's too fast for himself and is stripped by Franks. Franks gonna take it right at Umar Balo. Can't get the touch and Balo tipped it out of bounds. For the hard work that needs to be put in on the court, but also for once they get out into the real world. He wants his guys to know that the best athletes were informed with their abilities. It was the hard work that they put into me. Mike Woodson's going to use this season. He just gives Indiana, like we mentioned, a lot of depth. As now he will become the point guard in this lineup with Miles Rice heading to the bench. All for Marion. Trying to work off that screen. Steps back and finds Butcher. Now into the corner. Foe on the baseline. Can't knock it down, and here comes the junior really growing as a player and just as a condition. Imagine what he's going to look like come the end of this season. Malo 0 for 2 as the point guard of this lineup. Luke Goody, the one reserve, in right now. Scoops it over to Umar Balo, who scores. Defended by Renew. Here it goes, that sidestep. Blocked by Renew. Volleyball tap up to Renew. It's a three on one, and then Baco puts it down. Marion struggling to get inside anywhere. They find Butcher, and Butcher able to knock it down. Out to Mbako for the three. That one a bit short. Lovin tracks it down momentarily, but Galloway comes up with it and finds Umar Balo. Finished at least a share of the Big Ten title. And in typical fashion, has put on an amazing October month. Just as we saw to Renew. Back up to Galloway, straight back to Renew. Renew going to work on foe, and he gets fouled on the ground. Also getting to the line, I mean, it's just these dimensions that he's been able to add to his game that is going to make him such a great piece for Indiana. Mbako finds Balo. We've talked about their youth. They lost three of their top four scores from a team that was leveled going to U Indy in April, which opened the door for Pat Knight to return to the state of Indiana and take the Marion job. Here's Galloway with his first points of the night. Over to Edgerson. He wanted a foul call, no whistle. Here's Renew. Bounce pass to Miles Rice. Rice with an underhand layup. Biggs, both Renew and Ballo have done a great job of always looking towards the floor to make the extra pass. 
that this team would like to see improve this season. And Balo is up to six. Long pass out to Rice. They try to get it back to Balo, but it's knocked away by Dylan Moles. Now here comes Elaj Diallo, scoops it home over Luke Goody. Nish with the left hand. Goody finds space on the other end. Still looking for that first three as a Hoosier as Renew cleans it up. Oh, flipping it to Etchison. Etchison trying to drive on Miles Rice. He got a bit too handy. He doesn't agree. The biggest thing for him when making his decision, which was made official the next day. Today, Miles is one of Indiana's captains this season alongside Trey Galloway and is already making his presence known here. As they set up this offense against the zone, it's Mbako. He'll just launch straight over the contest of Noah Lovin and drill it. Fall down eventually, but he's been getting good looks. They just haven't found the end of the rim. Speaking of a good look, Dylan Moles converts. A 31-point game as Renew goes unmarked down the floor and throws it down. I think it just shows even in the amount of dunks and the ferocity of these dunks, Kevin, that Malik Renew is in tremendous shape. Yeah, I mean, you now Butcher. They try to find Gus Etchison, but here is Malik Renew again, punishing these rims in Assembly Hall tonight. Shooter just sitting on the outside, waiting for a shot. Like you brought it up, the thing that makes him so good is his off-ball movement and how he's able to position himself to not just help himself. Hand banks it home. Here's again Rice zooming up the floor, the alley-oop to Tucker. Hoosiers are interested to see what they can get from the athletic guard this year. Here's Goody dumping it to Hatton for two. As it comes over to Newton. Hatton, middle of the floor. Finds Tucker. Hatton just fighting for position down low, and he lays it through. He is what allows him to be effective on the floor. Hatton, like Luke Goody, coming home this year. Ambitious lob attempt, but Tucker still corrals it and lays it in. Who does not play like a freshman. And he, as well as his coaching staff, are looking forward to seeing what he can do. Four. Ja'Kai Newton gets the ball to inbound. He gets it into Tucker. Tucker looking for three on this possession. And he knocks down that J. Of yeah, the week, you love to see those mid-range jumpers just go down for your guys. Moles over to Lovin, who hits the reverse. Lovin fights for the board. Lovin going straight at Ja'Kai Newton and putting him in the spin cycle. Back to Indiana. Here is Hatton again, rolling to the rim and converting. That's a blocking foul. Franks. Franks off the mark on button one. He earns himself a second. Second attempt from Hatton falls as well. 40 shot, barely grazed the backboard. Now up ahead, here's Goody. Goody will try three this time, and he hits it. From an IU family. His dad played football here. So did his uncle Trent Green, who had a pretty lengthy NFL career as that bucket falls for Josiah Gustin just time as the board ripped away by foe. I got to bring it up, Zion. You want to know who was my first Kansas City Chiefs jersey when I was four years old? Was it? And of course, of course he was. The starting quarterback for the Chiefs for a while. Here's Gabe Cup stepping into the three, and he knocks one down. James in as well. James coming over this year from South Carolina State. You. Yeah, we didn't see him at all last year because of that injury. And Dallas James was the final addition to this Hoosier squad, the 13th scholarship player for Mike Woodson. Over to foe. Back to Dustin, who hits the 15-footer. Tucker finds space. Too strong on the three ball. Etchison, transition, pull up, buries it. To Cups now. Now Goody throws it up for Tucker, who is able to lay it through. Five Hoosiers are in double figure, figures. Gets a little behind the back pass to Goody, 
who feeds it inside to Dallas James. Hoosiers have hit the century mark. They lead it 100 to 53 as we enter our last media time. Burke, Creel, they swing it around. Rayford will pull up for the jumper and knock it down. Lovin can't put that one home. And here's Rayford again. Into the corner for three, Bobet. Off the mark. Indiana did a lot of things well. I mean, we talk about the pace. We talk about using their size. Much better three-point shooting here in this second half. So it's this game is used to teach you where you're at in the beginning part of the season. Rayford streaks down the lane for two. On the other end, Dylan Moles with the tough butt. will start their season at IU Southeast on Monday. James gets stripped by Lovin. And up ahead, the lay-in drops for Jaden Reyna. Five a game last year, but they have lost their second, third, and fourth leading scores from that team. So they may have to change up a little bit this year to be as successful as they were. And so Marion now moving forward, starting on Monday, will have a really good chance. Three-pointer is up and no good for Jackson Creel. And of course, Bob Knight's all-time favorite players that he coached, former number 42, Mike Woodson. Before he passed a year ago today, and he showed up here at Assembly Hall and watched practices and saw one of his favorite players lead this program. As that layup falls for Sean Burke. Burke gives a... Here's Noah Lovin. Up top for the three, it is drained by Gustin as they secure a 42-point win in their first game in Assembly Hall this year. Yeah, solid performance, a great performance, rather. For 66%, a lot of shots came down from the three-point arc, and now 32-0 in preseason games, their fourth straight win.